My tune for the week is Junipy by Lagoon Wavy, Bajan artist. Check it out, y'all. Hey guys, so this week I'm going to be making some turkey wings. It's back to school. I was thinking I was gonna make soup because it's Tuesday that I'm filming. I'm filming on Tuesday. I don't know when y'all gonna get this. But yeah, but then I said, you know what? I can make some barbecue turkey wings. I've got some pumpkin that I cut up and froze here. I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. See the potatoes over there? With some pumpkin. And I'm gonna make some barbecue turkey wings. So I'm just gonna show you very simply how to do it. So we just took these out the pack, two packs, so it's two big wings. They come cut up in the pack already. I like to get them like this, they're easier to handle. And then we're gonna get a few cloves of garlic and we're gonna put this to boil for um, in the in my little electric pressure cooker I'm gonna say for about 15 minutes so you put it on for 15 minutes once it start pressuring it will pressure for 15 minutes and that should get me the texture that I want on these turkey wings the other way to do this you can skip that step and put it in the oven but then you're gonna to have to make up for all that time in the oven when you could have just prepped them in the pressure cooker first and saved yourself some time and some gas all right so very simply we have the receptacle here for the pressure cooker. I'm putting my two turkey wings in there. Turkey wings are really easy. They don't usually require a lot of cleaning or anything. And then I have seven because they're small. If you use six or five, depending on how big your garlic is, close the garlic, just dot that in here. Because I have adobo, I've been using it rather than salt, but you could also use salt here. And we're just gonna salt these. And I'll put some more later, but just so it starts out with a base of a little bit of um, salt. Because I'm using the adobo, I have to put more. And then I'm just going to fill it to the... Mm, let me see. If the turkey wings come in all the way up here, we're going to go halfway with the water. So fill it to the middle of the turkey wings with water. Now turkey water is great water great great water so we use it to we save it use it for stock to make rice or even like these potatoes that I'm making can make all sorts of really good stuff so right here now I'm just gonna pour that water there's about four cups of water for people who want me to be more precise but basically I try to cover some of the turkey but not all as you can see there and I'm also going to be putting whole cloves in there if you don't have whole use the ground look I got ground here too but because I have whole I can use them right because cloves and turkey is an excellent flavor my dad always used to say so gone too soon all right so let's say about six whole cloves and there are seven or so and we're going to put this to pressure as i said about 15 minutes now if you wanted you could go crazy here you could put carrots and celery and onion that's called a mere poil and all of that depends on what you're using the stock for though but this way is nice the garlic is strong enough to flavor the turkey and we've got our clove here simple easy delicious and trust me you could just boil this just so pelt some sweet potato in here a little pumpkin in here and so and make yourself some turkey soup as well but we are going a different route today but this stock is going to be amazing as i mentioned all right so now i'm in my little corner where i have my pressure cooker and i'm going to cover this and let this pressure for 15 minutes so we got to yeah, so then we got menu, high pressure. And it will go fifteen minutes from when the little dial there comes up. Excuse the paint on my hands. I've been painting today. Let me show you what I did today, huh? I do a pop-up on Fridays. This will help people find the kitchen in case I start doing pop-ups other days. So these are my potatoes. I'm going to make some mashed potatoes and some salad to go with my meal. As I told you, I'm going to put the rest of the pumpkin that I have to use it up. I'm going to be putting it in this potato that's going to give it some more nutrition, some more color. And because these potatoes are fairly clean, I'm just going to scrub them. Scrub them rather than peel them that will give you more yield and also all the vitamin c that's in these potatoes the children will get do you know that there's some parts in england i believe where people only get vitamin c from eating chips as in potato chips as in fried potato come on man not good enough when they got limes and lemons about the place but anyway oh and i wanted to say something else 
I'll use my hand to gesture. Don't you love it when you find people who not only want to be an exhibitionist, but also want to watch? Not people who not only want to hear the sound of their own voice, but want to hear the sound of yours as well. I want to shout out my true friends on this uh, cooking vlog. I don't even know if they're going to see it, but the people who encourage me and the people who take time to see what I am doing rather than just focusing on what they are doing. Because you see, community is the way forward. If we cannot come together and love one another, if we always jealous or trying to control what other people are doing or any of that sort of energy, people will run from us. But when we come together and do things, we can do great things. So here ends my potato gestures. Bye. I also did this today. The room is a little bit dark out here, but anyway, this is an abstract full moon rising. Shout out the artist full moon. So I've mashed my potatoes and my pumpkin there. You could mash it with olive oil, butter, sunflower butter, whatever you want. That's simple. After that, I got my bowl ready and I had some barbecue sauce. I've got some Bajan seasoning, watch that recipe. I've got some maple syrup, or you can use vanilla syrup if you want, and Angostura bitters. And then I'm also going to have some ground cloves in the sauce that I'm making. So I put about a teaspoon of ground cloves inside of my bowl. After I put those inside of the bowl, then I'm going to pour in some of the syrup. Let's say about a half a cup or so. And once I've got the syrup in there, I'm waiting to see what I do, y'all, because this is a voiceover now. Oh, Selena, what you doing? What you doing, Selena? It looks like you're talking to someone. Yes, okay, then I put some Angostura in there. And that's how cooking is, y'all. It's creative. I, I put Angostura because I see it there. I had it to hand. Not because I, I normally put it, but it, it went well. Then we got our Bajan seasoning in there. That, that has any garlic, that has any the, the onion. That stopped me from having to cut up herbs or blend up um, herbs for my sauce. See, so that's a hack, all right? See how green it gets over time? That's the same season I made with y'all. It lasted longer than I thought it would, and it's still good. Uh, what's it saying? Oh, yes, this is the barbecue sauce here that I am chucking in there because it's soon done. But I would say about three quarter cups or so of the barbecue sauce and the thing about it is remember as Gordon Ramsay would say taste 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 don't just put in and chuck in and thing and don't taste you know leave that for leave that for the experts all right so we got a whisk here now right and it's just still taste we got a whisk here now we whisk it all together we make a nice fairly runny uh barbecue sauce and we taste in it to see what um want because um my want salt which is what i just pelt in there vinegar that's apple cider vinegar because it makes things acidic it's also good for you and it could have wanted sugar but it seems that it didn't at that point in time because remember the uh, vanilla or maple syrup whichever one you use and now i have that put into my pan and now that I put it into the pan, I cover it in the sauce, and I can put them inside the oven. All right, so my oven has a broiler, so I'm actually putting it to broil on low. And then while I did that, I decided I was going to make myself a nice little salad because people keep giving us avocado pears, y'all. So I made myself a lovely little salad, and it doesn't take long in the boiler, but if you don't have a boiler and you have to bake it, it's going to take longer for the sauce to get all stuck on there and look nice. Bake it at a high heat because it done cook already. You just want the color on it. And then you're going to flip it over and make sure both sides get done with that sauce, and it's going to be looking delicious and looking scrumptious like how it look here. So and then you're going to spoon a little more sauce over the top of the thing because that's how you have to do it, right? You have to put sauce on it before and sauce on it after, right? Because you eat it with mashed potato and you don't have no big set of gravy, so you need it to be saucy and flavorful. And remember the outside a little crispy and the inside a little soft, all right? And here we have it, folks. 
I finished my turkey dish. It's just some barbecue turkey, but as I said, it has in the sweet, it has in the spicy. You can put pepper in that if you wanted to make it a little bit more spicy, but I really mean not spicy spices. And then I also made a little salad to go with it. So this is a really good recipe for um, turkey wings, and they're done really fast with the pressure cooker. Thanks for watching.